Today we're at Vic and Rudkin Park to talk about rainwater harvesting. So it's been raining a lot this year and it gives us some opportunities to harvest rainwater to use for our landscape plants. And if we're going to do it the right way, we really need to get a large system so that we can, we can collect all the water that we can. And a system generally starts off with a catchment area. How much water can you get off a catchment area? Well, on a thousand square feet, we can get over 600 gallons of water from a one inch rainfall. That's a lot of water, so we need a pretty big tank to, to deal with that. But before we get to the tank, we need to have our system that's going to bring the water into a tank. Generally, that's going to be our gutter and some sort of piping. And along with that piping, we can have some things that we add to the system to help with our water quality. Those are things like roof washers and first flush diverters to help us remove some of that sediment and leaves and other things that have built up on the roof since the last time that it rained. So then we get into our tank. Um, uh, we can have um, over a thousand gallons of storage if we want. Like I said, we can get 600 gallons off of a one inch rainfall. So the more water that we have, the more that we, we can utilize later on when it's not raining as much so that we can use that on our landscape plants. So the tanks can be above ground, they can be below ground. But when the tanks are above ground, you're going to get a tank that's so opaque so that the sun will not shine in and you will not get algae growing within the tank. If it's below ground, you can use a plastic tank or a concrete tank and it's still going to um, store your water. You obviously don't have as much of an issue with algae. You do want to make sure and have as smooth surfaces as you can on the inside of it because that'll, that'll give less surfaces for that algae to grow on. And then on the back side of the tank, you always want to make sure that you have an overflow. Because we're getting so much water off of our rooftop, big storm, we're going to still fill up even our larger tanks. And with those systems, you need to have a place where the water can overflow and it's not going to cause damage. So how big of a tank can we have? Well, we want to really design our system to store enough water to make up the rainfall deficit or the moisture, the water deficit that you would have from the driest month um, that you would be using our, the system. So for instance, if you were trying to water your landscape, the driest month is probably going to be July and most months in, in uh, Oklahoma. So we're going to go and we're going to find out how much rainfall is going to fall upon your landscape area that you're watering on and then size a tank to make up for whatever the rainfall didn't give us during that month. For more information on large-scale rainfall harvesting, visit our rainwater harvesting website at lid.okstate.edu and click on the rainwater harvesting link. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.